What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max is here. I had to do a video for this one, titanium. Finally here, USB-C, but most importantly for me, titanium. I can go on for hours about this material. It's one of the most amazing yet frustrating things in the world to work with. I'm really excited to see how Apple treated the iPhone to this material, and it's actually very innovative, the outer band with the inner being made of aluminum. Now in this video, of course, we're gonna test just how much more durable is titanium versus the stainless bands it's replacing. Man, I've just been dying to see these. We work with titanium a little bit too, and man, it's amazing but frustrating. So I really wanna know how they did it. Apparently they used 3D printing technologies to make the base more efficiently and then they mill the chassis. I didn't even look at this in the Apple store because I wanted to see it in person. Okay, those bands, the rings here, just fantastic, wow. And the way that the curved edges feel in your hand, I think that might even influence this test. The fact that it's not as jagged. I love it. The color is just mwah, beautiful. Weight wise, yeah, this thing seems considerably lighter even though it's only 8% lighter versus the 14 Pro Max. That's also gonna be a factor here. The color they got right though, wow. And that's the titanium black. There's only so much you can do with a physical vapor deposition coating. Ooh, nice. So that's actually quite close to the, what do we got, the 12 Pro Max. Actually very similar, just a different tint, but pretty close. Absolutely love the way that it just conforms to your hand. At some angles, it almost looks the same, but just a brighter version. They both look fantastic, but natural takes the cake this year. So in customary fashion, let's go through a series of drops you might encounter in your day-to-day, -day, starting from waist height, head height, and then we've got even taller if we need, if this titanium proves that durable. Because we epoxied the floors, I needed a surface top that we'd find pretty much anywhere in your garage. This is solid slab of concrete, and surrounding it is the very material that forms the 15 Pro's titanium bonus shot in case I miss. All right, let's start from the waist height with the 15 Pro Max, 8% lighter in three, two, one. That even sounds different. The 15 Pro, three, two, one. It has a metallic ding to it now. So the prognosis, wow, that comes off pretty easily. Just from one drop, I can tell you it's not as resilient as stainless. I mean, it survived waist tight on the side. Now let's go to the back side. These lenses protrude a little less now, but the 15 Pro Max has a tetra prism inside for a five times optical zoom, which may be more fragile. And that Here's one what I found. in three, two, one. That's it, huh? Wow. That was uh, quite short. First impact, either in the corner or the lens here. Apple didn't make any more claims that it was stronger than the 14 Pro Max, but they do claim it is the strongest glass in a smartphone. And glass, of course, breaks. This is not completely smooth. And the 15 Pro. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, that's pretty repeatable. Also a corner shot. Yeah, that sucks. I expected a little bit better. This is the first time in any drop test video that both have cracked on impact on the first drops. Here we go, face down in three, two, one. And three, two, one. Okay, that one has survived. Bit of glass that just came out. Titanium, it's got some scoring on it. So when this scratches, it shows to a new degree. I wouldn't say it's rough, but the finish PVD does come off. 15 Pro Max also survives. Tiny micro crack here, a little bit of delamination. Still pretty impressive. Took that brunt, this corner impact, and survived. Face ID does work, and the Tetra Prism five times zoom flawlessly. All right, let's continue to head height. Try and do this as accurately as possible on the side. In three, two, one. In three, two, one. Ooh, that was my fault. The 15 Pro Max did survive. Gotta give it to them. You cannot help but agree based on these few drops, it is the strongest glass in a smartphone, given you drop it correctly. This probably might've survived had I not messed up, 
but what's a drop test without human error? Not that these were ever super scientific to begin with. Let's see if we can get one of these lenses to crack. Two, one. Oh, nice spin. And in three, two, one. Lenses have survived. Pretty dang impressed with the structure here. Also new on the 15s is the fact that you can open it from the backside like you could on the 14s, meaning this is no longer a five to $600 repair. It's $200 officially from Apple for the rear that is. 15 Pro Max is still chugging along. Pretty sure the next drop is gonna destroy the display. Let's see if the five times is still working. Looks like it is. Pretty dented in. Definitely scratches easier than stainless steel. At this point, all we have remaining is the 15 Pro Max glass, the lenses, which have miraculously somehow not cracked. And I wanna see if we can get any sort of deformation out of the titanium chassis. I mean, what height is it gonna take to get something like that? The 15 Pro display has stopped responding. 15 Pro Max head height face down in three, two, one. Two, one. Extra carnage. Wow, okay. So it really is luck of the draw. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. This one hit more of the titanium chassis. The curved surface might be doing some help here. Selfie camera is working. Five times zoom is working, it appears. I think we got a good 15, 16 feet here. Will it dent? Two, one. Wow, that's how you can tell it's actually titanium. The spark. That was actually pretty cool, gotta say. You won't get that from any other height. And somehow did survive, wow. iPhone 15 Pro Max, buy it now. It can survive your 15 foot daily drops. And somehow no deformation in the titanium. It has bent a little bit actually, <laughs> just a little. Selfie camera, all right. Five times zoom, working. Face ID working. Yeah, it's a little misshapen. 15 Pro Max has survived. And how can you tell that it's real titanium? Like this. So here's a actual piece of titanium. It passes the test. So you get these nice white sparks that continue to burn after they're flicked off the material. Apple Watch Ultra. Oh, yeah, that's real, all right. Yep. And the titanium blue. Okay, maybe this one because it's messed up. Yep, that's real titanium. And our new Gen 5 case, which is gonna have titanium lens, buttons, and logo. And we're gonna be making accessories for them. Absolutely real deal. All titanium here. Titanium police can rest contented tonight. So the iPhone 15 Pro Max is absolutely everything it was hyped up to be. The titanium is incredible. It even sparks. It's the real deal on the outside that is. Man, this is so cool. Apple did really well here. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for joining me for my yearly upload. Yeah, can't wait to start using mine. Peace. Hey, and guys, I did want to say I'm sorry for just leaving things as they were. We were really trying to make Phone Rebel work and Gen 5 is the product I've always wanted to make and I could give it the time finally to do so. If you guys wanna support my company and future videos coming back to YouTube, phonerebel.com. You guys will not be disappointed with our new offering, Gen 5, and no matter what, we always make things right. So we should have Gen 5 coming in by end of month and shipping in the first week of October. Also to the random guy at the Apple store today that said, we miss you. You know, you really got through to me. Thank you, man. I'll see you guys around more often. Peace.